Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm just looking at AmiBroker and doing how to do a back test using AmiBroker. So first of all, what we do need to do is set up our, our rules for our back testing entries and exits. Um, and to do that, we need to know a little bit of AmiBroker uh, formula language or AmiBroker AFL. We go to analysis and formula editor really quickly. Um, what I've got here is we've actually got this set up already. Um, I do have it at the site. Just it's uh, you can copy and paste it. Probably if you have trouble, if it doesn't work, just type it in manually um, or paste it into Notepad before you paste it um, into your Ami Broker um, formula language. Just because sometimes if it's from the site, it might pick up a few extra spaces or something like that, which means it won't work. But if we've got the code here, and um, what we're looking at here is uh, just really quickly going through it. Our first two lines here are just setting up arrays. So what an array is, it's like an object. You can pretty much create anything um, in Emmy Broker just by going this such and such equals. For example, at the moment we've got hi or hi um, equals, and that just means every time that hi comes up, which it does later on, then it's going, then Emmy Broker, Emmy Broker is going to run this particular code. So the code that we're looking at is um, just a very, very, very basic trading um, trading system. I wouldn't recommend using it without testing it thoroughly, um, and in fact, that's what we're going to do here as well. Um, so yeah, just to, obviously that's your caveat there. Um, what we're looking at is highest high value, so HHV, and it's the closing price of the last 20 days, and that's what we're setting up high. And for LW or low, we're setting up for the lowest low value or LLV, and you'll know it's working if it turns blue, um, by the way. So yeah, that's when Ambi Broker says, yes, I recognize that code. I, I, I can use LLV, happy days. And we're looking at it at the close of the last 10 days or 10 periods, depending on what you're using, weeks or days, whatever you prefer. Under these circumstances, we're using days. So once we've set up our two arrays, or these two things that we've created in the Ami Broker universe, we then need to set up our buy and sell signals. So we've got our buy equals a close greater than or equal to, which is, uh, you know, that's your basic sort of year five maths or whatever, um, and it equals or greater than or equal to high. And high is the highest value of the last 20 days. So as you can see, it sort of makes sense. Like when you do go through it like that, and a sell equals a close greater than or less than or equal to the lowest low of the last 10 days. So we've got that. Once we've got that, you can either save it as you want, or you can send it to your automatic analysis, which, which is what we're going to do. You can click on this button, going to send to automatic analysis, or you can go to tools and send to automatic analysis, and that will bring up our automatic analysis window. Happy days. All right, from here, this is where the magic happens. What we need to do is we're just going to work from left to right really quickly. We want to apply it to the current symbol. And let's just say our current symbol is the all ordinaries. So we'll make sure it's the all ordinaries. Happy days there. We want to test it. Let's say we want to test it over the last 20 years. Let's just get a little bit crazy up in here. We've got the last 20 years. What's that? 1992, approximately. Let's just make it a bit rough. There we go. Too easy. So it's a little bit more than 20 years, but I won't tell anyone if you don't. Um, apart from that, we then go to our settings folder. We make sure that it's on daily, not weekly, just for these circumstances. Um, you, if you wanted to use a weekly trading system, you'd set it to weekly, obviously, and change your rules accordingly. And we want report to be trade list. And that should give us everything we need to proceed. So once we've got this set up, we've got our single stock over the last 20 years, we've got our rules defined in our formula file, we just click back test. Very, very simple. And look at that, it didn't even take, it took, I think it took about three seconds. How good is that? It saves you from going through it manually. Um, so it's come up with so many different trades as well. And obviously, um, yeah, so the, we need to know if this is going to be a profitable system, basically, don't we? And to do that, this is where one of the best things in Emmy Broker comes in, we click on report. Now, when we do click on report, it brings up our statistics. And this stuff is absolutely fantastic because at your fingertips, you now have over the last 20 years using this particular system, we have our net profit 
So our, our, basic, our profit was 78% over the last 20 years. Um, I don't know if that's you know, really fantastic or not, but at least it's positive, so that's really good. We took 133 trades and you know, average profit and loss, average profit and loss percentage. We've got our, our average win percentage, 48%, and our average profit percentage per trade was 2.93%. And then if we verse that, if we uh, look at that against our losers, so our average losers were uh, was about 51%. So we would lose around about 51% of the time, but we would our average loss was around 1.79%. So a little bit less than our than our average win. And it gives us all this information. So this was really, really, really cool. Apart from that, we've also got the charts function up here and it shows us our equity curve. So this is our equity curve going from $10,000 and ending in around about $18,000 over the last 20 years. So um, yeah, obviously there are definitely better trading systems out there, but this gives you a rough idea of how to use it. This is our underwater equity or our drawdown. So our maximum drawdown was around about 18% once just before the 2003 bull market and once around 2008. And uh, you can guess what happened in 2008. (laughs) So that gives us, oh, and it's also got, you know, like professional stats. It's really, really cool. These are our monthly profit and loss figures. So, you know, if it's just like looking at a hedge fund, basically, you're looking at the, the year to the year end, and then each individual month, was it a profit? Was it a loss? Um, these are the figures that you would sort of give to people if you were if you were trying to prove this system's worth. And it's really, really cool. So that is the reporting function. Last but not least, what we want to do is we also want to show the buy and sell arrows just so that we can get a visual for what we're looking at. We click, we right click on these, uh, anyone will do, and we go show arrows for actual trades. We'll just minimize that, minimize that. And then uh, if these arrows don't show up already, what we want to do is we want to right click and go parameters and we just want to scroll down and say show trading arrows. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Click OK. Our trading arrows should show up. And as you can see, we've got um, you know green buy signals and red sell signals. And it shows us where we would have bought and sold using this particular theory over the last 20 years. So really great to get a visual on it, and um, really good to see, you know, if it would meet your trading style or your trading time frame, whatever you're particularly comfortable with. I absolutely love this. I think it's fantastic. I hope this has helped you in some small way, and I'll see you next time for more Ami Broker tutorials and charting tutorials as well. Have a great week, guys. Happy trading. Bye for now.